seven. I'll proceed to put the question. Honorable Senators that are aware that the National Assembly on the 8th of October 2024 resolved with the support of 282 members being at least two-thirds of all members of the National Assembly that pursuant to the provisions of Article 145.2 as read with Article 151b and 2 of the Constitution and Standing Order 65.2 of the National Assembly Standing Orders his Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa, EGH, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, be removed from office by impeachment on the grounds specified in the special motion. Whereas by a letter reference NA stroke DLP stroke TBO stroke MTS stroke 2024 into brackets 25, dated the 8th of October 2024, and received in the office of the Speaker of the Senate on the 9th of October 2024, the Speaker of the National Assembly informed the Speaker of the Senate of the approval of the special motion by the National Assembly and further forwarded to the Speaker of the Senate documents in evidence of the proceedings of the National Assembly. Further, whereas pursuant to Article 145, as read with Article 150, 1B and 2 of the Constitution, and Standing Orders 78 and 79 of the Senate Standing Orders, the Senate had the National Assembly on the grounds for the proposed removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency Rigathe Gashagwa, EGH, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. And further, whereas pursuant to Article 145, as read with Article 151b and 2 of the Constitution, and Standing Orders 78 and 79 of the Senate Standing Orders, the Senate also had His Excellency Rigathe Gashagwa, EGH, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, on the grounds of his proposed removal from office by impeachment of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Now, therefore, pursuant to Article 145, as read with Article 151b and 2 of the Constitution, and Standing Order 78 and 79 of the Senate Standing Orders, the Senate resolves to remove from office by impeachment His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa, EGH, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, on the following grounds. One. Gross violation of Articles 10, 2A, B, and C, 27, 4, 73, 1A, and 2B, 75, 1C, and 129, 2 of the Constitution, and Article 147, 1, as read together with Article 131, 2C, and D of the Constitution. Two, gross violation of Article 147, 1 and 152, 1 of the Constitution by undermining the President and the Cabinet and the effective discharge of the national government's executive mandates. Number three, gross violation of Article 6 2, 10 2 A, 174, 186 1, 189 1, and the fourth schedule to the Constitution by undermining devolution. Number four, gross violation of Article 161 of the Constitution on the institutional and decisional independence of judges. Number five, gross violation of Articles 3 1 and 148.5a of the Constitution on the fidelity to the oath of office and allegiance. Number six, serious reason to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed crimes under Section 13.1a and 62 of the National Cohesion and Integration Act. Number seven, serious reason to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed gross economic crimes under Sections 45.1, 46, 47A3 and 48 one of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act and Sections 2, 3, 4 and 7 of the Proceeds of Crime and Anti-Money Laundering Act. Number 8, serious reasons to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed crimes by continuously misleading members of the public through false, malicious, defensive and insightful remarks that that are contrary to the provisions of Section 132 of the Penal Code and Section 29 of the Leaders Leadership and Integrity Act. Number nine, gross misconduct that is incompatible with the high calling and dignified status of the office of the Deputy President and a member of the Cabinet and the National Security Council. His Excellency, the Deputy President, has publicly attacked and undermined the work of the National Security Intelligence Service and its officers. Number 10, 
gross misconduct by openly or publicly in subordinating the president who is the head of state and government and number 11 gross misconduct by persistently bullying state and public officers as i've already indicated honorable senators voting shall be done electronically so at this juncture i will ask honorable senators to pull your cards out of the delegate unit sergeant at arms kindly go around and pick all the unattended delegate cards Sergeant at arms, if you're done uh, collecting the unattended uh, cards, we're good. Now, honorable senators, you may log in back. As indicated earlier, we um, will be casting our votes 11 times. So the vote you're going to cast at the moment is for charge allegation number one which is gross violation of articles 10 to a b and c 27 4 i had already read it out so from this moment it's beamed on the screens so honorable senators once you've logged in you may now proceed to vote <laughs> 